Oh, jeez, that thing hit it on the paws. Oh, what is it? Ooh. Here we go, guys. Another one. Feels like a bass. Oh, no, that's... There we go. I think something actually ate it this time. Yeah, we're on, guys. We're on. Welcome to another episode of Offish TV. Today, we're going to be trying to catch some bluegill, crappie, and maybe some bass. The goal of the day is to catch at least a few bluegill and a few crappie for one of my friends to go ahead and try because he has never tried any panfish. If we can get a couple panfish, we'll go ahead and do a catch and cook. We'll show you guys how to prepare them, fry them up, everything. So without further ado, let's go catch some fish. There we go. Nice large one. Completely unexpected. It's a little weedy. You get the point. Went ahead and ate the jerk bait. One of the best cold water early spring baits for bass, in my opinion. At least up here in Illinois. That might be a uh, probably two and a half pounder. I don't think she'll go three. But awesome fish. I'm gonna go ahead and release her. That is exactly what we came out here looking for. That's probably uh, maybe an 11, 12 inch crappie. He smoked that Apollo jerkbait. I wasn't sure what was biting me because I was trying to catch some bass, but not too bad. And while the Rapala Shadow Wrap does catch a lot of fish, they break very, very fast. Just a tip, guys. That is only two fish I've caught on this very jerk bait. One a bass, one a crappie, and it's already splitting in half and has a cracked hook. Ooh. Here we go, guys. Another one. Feels like a bass. Oh no, that's, oh yeah, it's a bass. It's a little bass. Oh, that's not what we're after. This is why you don't wear gloves and fish. Because now I am stuck to this bass. It's not quite what we want. A little 12 inch bass. We're gonna toss him back. We do have a big storm rolling in right now. So that would explain the pickup in the wind. Hit it on the paws. Oh, what is it? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's another patty. It's another paper lip. Look at that. Look at him. Wow. Look how he ate that jerk bait. One, two, all three hooks in him. That's two crappies. Big fish too. Yeah. There we go. I 
think something actually ate it this time. Yeah, we're on, guys, we're on. I don't know what, what we got. Something on the worm and bobber. We got really light line, though. So hopefully we got a, ourselves a nice gill. A uh, little one. Oh, no, but he might have choked it all the way. All right, guys. This isn't exactly the kind of gill we want, but I cannot get my hook out of his gullet. He's already bleeding a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and pocket this guy, take him home with us. Not the best eater, but maybe we can get some more. So to catch that bluegill, guys, I just got a simple slip bobber rig set up, and I lost my hook inside his stomach, so we're gonna go ahead and tie on another little small hot bait holder hook. Boom, ringed up right there. All right, so after being out here for about two hours, it's getting dark, we're gonna have to call it quits soon. We've got two nice keeper crappie. A little bluegill we're gonna fillet up and eat those we'll show you how to do that we're gonna try one more spot on the way out of here caught a whole lot of bass a couple good ones mostly smalls so let's see if we can't get one or two more on the way out stay tuned Smokes. He hit that so hard. This might be a bigger fish. Oh yeah, to get bass. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. The head first bite. Oh, we got him in the front treble. We're just getting ready to call it quits. This nice little, maybe one pound, one and a quarter pound bass. Crush my jerk bait head first. Awesome. Let's get the release on him. Fish. Looks like it. What do we have? He's fighting hard, man. Oh, it's a good size gill. Yes. There we go. You guys can see I'm causing a little bit of bleeding already on this poor guy, so he's gonna have to keep that hook and we're gonna have to fillet him up and eat him. Alright, here we go. Time to call it the last cast. Last cast of the day. Let's get us a fish. Yes, baby, last cast. No way. I called it last cast. It feels like a bass. This is definitely a large one. Not a huge one, but oh, geez. Awesome. Another good fish. Whew. Not a tiny one. Oh, I'm going to drop down for him. Just bleed just a tiny bit. God, they are freezing cold. That's another nice little bass. This so cold water should cauterize that bleeding very fast. So this little guy will be just fine. bass than I thought on the jerk bait. Didn't think there was very many bass in here at all. Got two nice crappie, two nice bluegill. So let's go home, play those guys up, and we'll show you how it's done. Thank you.
simple, very few ingredients. Some of the best eaten out of the water. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below what species you'd like to see next. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.